me say first how very honored I am uh, to be here to celebrate this very special day uh, with you all. Uh, and I want to thank, uh, in particular, the Senator Abiola Jimothy Foundation, as well as the Institute for Peace and Strategic Studies of the University of Obadu, for the great honor of uh, chairing this round table and also of commissioning this edifice. Just as had been said earlier, it is a promise delivered that this building, which uh, the family of the, uh, the family of our dear father, uh, the late Senator Ajimobi, decided to give as a donation to the Institute of Peace and Strategic Studies. And indeed, uh, I'm told that uh, His Excellency Senator Ajimobi had, in fact, started a PhD degree, a course here, and was already on his way uh, to achieving that. But I think that this building uh, that is donated in his honor is a very important one because it establishes uh, the kind of person that he is, a man of peace and a man who was, and who was a great bridge builder. I think that the, the donation of the building of this sort is particularly important because of what it signifies. So I'd like to congratulate uh, the Senator Abiola Jimothy Foundation, as well as the family on this uh, great achievement and this uh, very important altruistic gift. I think that uh, this round table, and I'm sure that a lot has been said already, to mark this uh, sec 77th posthumous birthday of Senator Abiola Adjimon today is a great one indeed. Senator Adjimon, who was a remarkable human being, an extraordinarily gifted man, attaining, as you know, early success in the oil and gas industry, then emerging as an astute politician. Senator of the Federal Republic and two term governor of this state for the first time in the history of our state. He was an accomplished public intellectual and an administrator par excellence in his own right. Senator Abiola Jimobi of Blessed Memory was an exceptional communicator and a natural bridge builder. And we certainly miss his sagacity, his maturity, his wisdom especially at a time of such especially at a time of such dissonance and conflict we miss his humor and his laughter and his ability to find the comical even in the most difficult situations he was an exemplary family man and he loved his wife and children he loved them so so much but i can never forget a joke that he told off about his wife. When he would say that some people said that my wife controls me, then he would say, but I became an executive at the top national oil firm. She was controlling me. I became a distinguished senator. She was controlling me. And then a two-term government, she was controlling me. Surely that the chairman control me. No. <laughs> So he was, in so many ways, an exceptional human being. I cannot, I can tell his jokes repeatedly. I have so many of them because of my very, very interactive with him. This roundtable conversation focuses on the crucial of election security and good governance in Nigeria. I believe that the new speaker, Professor Atahiru Jega, and of course the distinguished panelists, 
are perhaps the best possible interveners on the stock. And I really would have looked forward to hearing from you, but I'm sure I will still have the opportunity of listening to uh, what is left of the conversation. Except to say, I think that all that I would want to say is that man has not yet developed a fairer or a most or more just system of establishing governments than the government of the people by the people for the people. History has demonstrated that it is this system, captured in one word, democracy, that guarantees the respect for the right of individuals to choose their leaders. This right of choice is a civil and political right, and it's fundamental, because that is what separates us in terms of organization from animals for whom might confers the right to leadership. This system of governance guarantees the accountability of the elected, the electorate. And as the electorates determine in every electoral cycle by their free choice whether the mandate given was properly utilized. So the major issue is how to ensure that this right of free choice is not defeated or corrupted in any way. Once that right of free choice is violated, the basis of democracy and its product, good government, is undermined. I'm sure that perhaps some of the conversation that's left will look at this fundamental point. How can we protect the vote? How do we ensure that every vote will count? How do we protect the government of the people by the people for the people? And ensure, as uh, Lincoln famously prayed at Gettysburg, that it does not perish from the face of the earth. My sincere thanks again uh, to all the organizers, especially the Institute of Peace and Strategic Studies and the Senator Abiola Ajimobi Foundation. And again, uh, permit me to welcome you all to the round table and enjoy the rest of the afternoon. God bless you.